So out on the booster and just trying to bed in the brakes unless of course the brakes aren't working um, seem to be all right but I don't want to jam them on too soon with new pads and pads and seals and all the rest of it so I'm just taking taking the slow route clutch all seems to be good which is a bit of relief just sit there then bloody pigeons so yeah just trying to take it easy with the brake in fact I think the span's a bit far out for me far out dude just to let in a little bit that's a bit better that's a bit better so just just cooking them up really make sure I end up with some brakes at the end of it and definitely try not to get into any emergency situations at the moment fine bit of parking marvellous but just sort of 30, 40 mile an hour, just slowly bringing them in, trying to burn off that, any grease I've got on the disc and the top layer of the brake pads and um, See how we go from there. I do seem to be keeping pressure, which is a good thing. I will stop up here and just double check. There's no leaks. Like this. Good. All oh, looks good. All oh, looks good. Again, all looks good. So I'm keeping pressure on the lever. That's quite on there. It's just a case of bedding them in. So you just take the faces off. Hopefully, hopefully cook off anything that shouldn't be on there. Just 
just gently increase the pressure I don't know whether it's actually me cooking it off or me just getting my my confidence up <laughs> being that it was me that done the brakes definitely starting to feel like they've got a bit of bite coming through so now I'm going to take it up onto the faster roads and see how it is Hopefully I haven't put too much brake fluid on the tyres.
bit. I think the brakes are working. It's just oh yeah. And I think the clutch is working. And the engine's still going. Yeah, and the engine's still going, so I'm presuming the oil stayed in. It's definitely nice to be back out on the beast. Good old Buddha. Okay, high speed braking and all the rest of it. All seems good. All hot. Can't see any leaks anywhere. He says. Shit. Okay, so the continuing, well, the finish of the Hayabusa brake saga. I took them off just to clean the pistons up and replace the pads and discovered just how worn out they were. They were gone, shot. And there was about at least two on each side, so two out of the four pistons on each of the calipers that weren't moving. So I did a strip down and I've never done a strip down before. And it was daunting because it's, it's a high booster and I ride it quickly. <laughs> I ride it <laughs> within the bounds of Newton's phys physics. <laughs> that will do. <laughs> um, some of it doesn't seem like reality. Oh, it's like a, being in a computer game. Anyway, so I stripped them down, replaced all the seals, cleaned the pistons up, put them back in, and... The right hand side one, no problem at all. And still, he says, no problem at all. Ow. And the disc is hot, which means they are biting. However, the left hand side one, when I finished my test run, there was a bit of weepage of which there is none now. There was a bit of weepage. And you can't you obviously can't have that on brakes. So I took it off again, took it took it apart, and this time I wasn't so sure because I bought the seal kit from Wemoto and it's like right okay this time I will go um, genuine Suzuki. Genuine so I had a good look at it and I found one of the pistons, the one that was leaking, had the slightest of scratches on it. Now, I deal with hydraulics at work and, you know, I looked at that and I thought, do you know what, I should get away with that, it should be all right. And it wasn't down to 
it was quite high up on the piston, which meant it was where the dust seal was rather than where the oil seal was, the hydraulic oil seal. So I thought, do you know what? To be on the safe side, I'll get a piston and I'll get a seal kit and I'll do that caliper. I'll reseal that caliper and replace the piston. You can't get the pistons on their own. So you have to buy a kit, which is it's 100 quid. And that'll get you the four pistons, four pistons and the seals to do one caliper. Which is what I did. Replaced all the pistons and all the seals. And this was the test run. And it's a success. The other problem I had with um, the Wii Moto kit, not so much the kit, I put on, it came with the bleed nipples. So I put on brand new bleed nipples. And I think when I was trying to bleed it, I was just getting the air back through the threads on the nipples. And I asked around forums and all the rest of it, and you can get the easy bleed nipples. Which have either, it's either a sealant or it's lock nut, something like that. Lock tight, I don't know. Some sort of sealant on it. But you can't just get the sealant anywhere just to put on your threads. So I reverted back to the old nipples. and did this seal kit and all the rest of it and it bled up pretty much immediately which for the grief I'd had previously because I'd gone through two and a half litres of brake fluid to try and bleed them up and I was getting nowhere well I had brake but there was a sponginess to it and for everything I did it never got any better it never got any worse shot of it is the brakes are done the boost is alive again <laughs>